Gai Kangam says truth about Sanjit fake encounter will be known after the CBI probe is completed. Manipur High Court asks Chief Secretary to appear in court in connection with non-functioning of Manipur Human Rights Commission. When vendors of Kwaramba Nupi Kaitel stay sit and demanding immediate arrangement for license holders. And the torch of the 12 South Asian Games arrives at Imphal, more than 1,000 people taking part in torch relay. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime News. I'm Shilab Ditoism with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam, who also holds the home portfolio, today stated that the truth of Chung Kham Sanjit fake encounter case will be known once the ongoing CBI inquiry is completed. Gai Khangam was responding to a query by media persons at the inauguration of Shahid Manoranjan Singh Memorial State Open Football Tournament at Kumandam Park Main Stadium. The Deputy Chief Minister also maintained that the case is subjudice. However, Gai Kangam added that the center has sought a report on the confessions by Head Constable Tanaujam Herojit that he shot Sanjit on the order of the then additional SP AK Jalajit from additional Home Secretary. He said full proof security will be provided to Herojit if he asks for it. A new website of Manipur Legislative Assembly, www.manipurassembly.net, was launched today. Secretary K. Meghajit launched a website at the Assembly Secretariat in presence of the Director, Deputy Director and other staff of the Secretariat. The website will provide information about Manipur Legislative Assembly. Website is launched in the last time. Even LDA, the grade four, the gina up to the deputy secretary, the level of RRC website. The assembly is proceeding. Matamatangi bulletin, loin ablo taurani, kanangum, assembly maramda, bulletil, so aduki adum the PBU adum the tal, pangan biu, I secretary the address, Tauga, or the Dio the address, Tauga, or director the address, Tauga Tari Mayams. Warning I would reco website the loin ablo taurati. The High Court of Manipur has asked Chief Secretary O Nabakishore to appear in the court in connection with the non-functioning of Manipur Human Rights Commission. A double bench comprising of Chief Justice Lakshmi Kanta Mohapatra and Justice Nomaikapam Kotishwar yesterday directed O Nabakishore to appear before the bench and explained non-functioning of the Manipur Human Rights Commission on February 8. The bench was hearing on PIL yesterday regarding the non-functioning of the commission. The petitioner, Dr. T. H. Suresh Singh, former director, held in a press release said, The government's counsel, the Advocate General, told the court that non-availability of space room as one of the reasons of, for non-functioning of the commission. He said in previous hearing, government counsels tried to delay the same by citing one reason or other. MHRC has not been functioning since May 2010. Advocate Dr. R. K. Deepak appeared for the petitioner. BJP candidates who have been elected in the Kakching Municipal Council were felicitated today at a function held by Kakching BJP Mandal at Irabad Park. Speaking at the event, BJP Manipur Pradesh State Secretary Mayang Lambam Rameshwar said Kakching MLA Y. Surchandra has made false allegations against him. He said the government should look into the incident that occurred at the western gate of the Chief Minister's bungalow on the 25th of this month and take action against MLA Y. Surchandra. He said the success of four BJP candidates in the recent municipal elections shows that people no more support the Congress party. Sarkar Asi Laina Laina Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, Makoi Laina Laina, Makoi Gi Mama Makta Da, Honorable MLA Amana, Prazagi Mako Mapi Mapa Wari Ba Amana, Aibu Hatkani Tupkani, Pangaga Di Kongloi Nagani Hai Bagi Maung Da, Nung Thil Gi Punga Mata Abda Taurai Ba Maung Asi Yamna Kini Ngai Masangni Asi Gumba Thaudog Asi 
Old Manipur Nupi Maru has demanded repeal of Armed Forces Special Powers Act at the 20th National Federation for Indian Women. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club, President of the Maru, M. Saki, said women from different parts of India and the world attended the meeting held at Vishakapatnam. She said representatives of Old Manipur Nupi Maru demanded submission of report on APSPA by Jivan Reddy Commission, prevention of violence against women and 33% reservation for women in parliament and state assemblies bjp ki sarkar hai batare mana litoba sarkar india ki sarkar si lakpa kanda hanama mang de khoina li sang sinna ta laga lakhi ba dugum laba 33% reservation gi wafa madu na thairaga thamlakhi ba dugi kanba kande mama tawi Essential items were provided to quake victims of January 4 at Irang Part 1 and Part 2 jointly by All Manipur Gorkha Students Union and Kangla Tongbi Gram Panchayat sponsored by Master Ching Hai from Taiwan. Acting on a tip off, troops of two Assam rifles of nine sector Assam rifles under the aegis of headquarters IGR South 11 Para SF, along with Thawal police commandos, launched a search operation in Bongbal Kulen village and arrested one KNF and Kada today. The Kada was identified as Assistant Finance Secretary Sat Kitang Kibjant, Elias Ranjit, 29 years, son of Kailum Kibjant of Zoland in Senapati district. One country met nine. 9 mm pistol along with the magazine and 9 live rounds of 9 mm was recovered from him A voluntary blood donation camp on the theme Pride of India Connection with Army Day 15 January 2016 was held at 11 Assam Rifles Unit Hospital in Moray this morning The camp was jointly Organized by Association of Voluntary Blood Donors, Thawal District, Branch Manipur and Department of IHBT Service, Imphal and 11 Assam Rifles, Mori. A team of doctors of Brims and 11 Assam Rifles, Mori, attended the camp. Representatives of Hill Tribal Council, Mori, Tamil Sangam, Mori, Manipuri Muslim Council, Mori, Kuki Women and Human Rights, Mori, Women Organizations, Gorkha Samat Samiti, Mori, all Manipur Students Union Mori, Koki Students Organization Mori also attended the camp. Manoj and 38 personnel, including two other civilians, donated blood at the camp. Women vendors of Kwaramba Nupi Kaitel today held a sit-in against the construction of temporary market at Tangal Bazar. They are demanding an immediate arrangement by the government for the license holders. Secretary of Kwaramba Kaitel Nupi Sinpam and Saktam Kanbalup T.H. Rani said the site selected by the government for the temporary market is not appropriate. She also said the license holders are facing difficulties after the two markets were damaged by the earthquake. She urged the government to make an alternative arrangement for the license holders. <laughs> Nagamapal Women Street Vendor Kwai Imakaitel Association in a press release opposed the construction of market shed on the north of the temporary market shed. The members of the association will keep a vigil at night to protest the construction. National Identity Protection Committee, NIPCO Manipur, in a press release said it will participate in the mass rally to be organized by AMUKO, CCSK and UCM on February 6 for the common future of Manipur. On the other hand, all Manipur Arts and Culture Students Union, AMAKSU, also confirmed their participation in the mass rally. A 14-year-old girl from Senapati district went missing in New Delhi yesterday. The girl, identified as Binu, daughter of Kamsai, went out to buy household goods in Krishnanagar, Sabdarjang and Klaif. Sources said she went out without carrying her mobile phone.
A missing report was filed at police station Subdurjang Enclave after she failed to return home. She is fifth, five feet tall, medium built, and has fair complexion. She was last seen wearing a dark sweater and black pants. People who know her whereabouts have been asked to inform 1093 Nordis Helpline immediately. All Manipur Local Cable Operators Association Amalkwa has handed over rupees 20,000 assistance to Brahmachari Mayum Haridatta, technical assistant of Impact TV Local Cable Operator. Haridatta is now undergoing treatment at Sijo Hospitals and Research Institute Langol. Earlier, the association has provided rupees 35,000 to Haridatta. It may be recalled that Haridatta was injured when he fell from an electric post at Uripo Polemlekai on the 12th of this month. Atu matam da ishoda thauni jaraga koi na phagana bagi hai jab loina na all manipu local cable operator na mamang dege dum hau na changchal lagal lakcha ba hari ba koi gi tim zing dege asok pe yaro kumatam da angam ba teng bang paisagi koi na pi gani hai na hai do hai jagi bato atu gi manung channa ngasi hari ba sok tu na lai bakti na lai jab bi hari tada sharma sida akoi mayam na komjan jaraga lo pali singyang kai manga mateng tau jab ni a bomb exploded last night around 7.30 at the residence of Sinam Dijent of Yai School Sawai Jam Lairak Maning Nambul Mapa. However, no one was injured in the blast. The blast caused damage to the wall of Dijent's house and his neighbor's house. Later, a team of police led by additional SP rushed to the spot to take stock of the situation. Speaking to Impact News, Sinam Dijent said he has not received threats or warning from any organizations. Sigumba Togoki, Tokpa Matunda, Mi Amada, Angang Sing family, Legerivis, Sindus, Amena, Sativa, Numaitaba, Sigumba, Bom, Pokaiwagi, Makol, Mata, was in a Sigmatic Numaitaba, a portable in a uni, a dugimatata, a quiz with the Ikaja, Maram de Kayinoda, I am the Bom, Pokai, Halami, have see Takanda, a quizu, Aranba. Tauruwa mo nga madawin na miyam na ubire ko. Ado masigum ba siya? Amo na uhan biroy dawn ni. Meanwhile, residents of Moirangkom sa Gajam Lairak today denounced a bomb blast and state a set in. Play cards that read, we want peace, stop gun culture, don't explode bomb in residential area were used in the city and organized by Welfare Club and Myra Paibi of Moirang Kom Sogai Jam A woman protester R.K. Kabita asked not to repeat such barbaric act of violence in future and urged those concerned to clarify the reason of the blast. <laughs> Akoida, Yamna, Mipai Jaba, Nunang Jaba Pauje, Aduna Machigi, Tabasi, Matunda, Amohana Tobiganu, Adu Kanana Karigi Damak, Momasi Poka and Biribano, Hibadusu, Chengopira U, Akoida, Hana Karigumba, Ipao Amata, Kangjaba Lejade. The dead body of 15 year old Takelambam Somorjit, a class 10 student of Little Master Higher Secondary School Samura, was found floating in the Imphal River this morning around 10. Takelambam Somorjit is the only child of Takelambam Pandit from Kwatha Sandil Chandal district. He was missing since yesterday afternoon after he went for swimming along with his four friends. Parents of the deceased boy have asked for an inquiry into the death. Mother of the disease told media at Manipur Press Club that Wangoi Police Station has refused to file a complaint lodged by them. She said she wants to know the exact cause of her son's death. <laughs> The lamb lighting and odd taking ceremony of the 10th batch of GNM nursing of Sijo Academy of Nursing was held today at Sijo Hospitals and Research Institute, Sri Auditorium at Langol. 
Prizes were also distributed to toppers of examination conducted by Manipur Council of Nursing at the event. Shri Managing Director Dr. K. H. Balin urges the nursing students to work with a sense of sacrifice and a positive attitude. Managing Director of Maipakpi Maternity and Child Hospital, not AOC, Dr. K. H. Tomba appealed to the nurses to treat the patients with dedication. Doctor give prescription, doctor give diagnosis, puna matu taurgani, adubu, healing way, but portion of the city. Nasser a big of me. Nasser hills, Sajan cuts the wound, but Nasser hills. Madu healing process to that. Quite again, it's what you go to the bar. I think of the book, no one will know what to do. Nurse key duty. Your duty is very, very profound and very, very special. Masili like a sea, yoga have a target, dedication of a matter of sincerity have a letter. Akhil Bhartiya Vidarti Parishat Manipur organized a reception of the delegation of students' experience in interstate living at the Senate Hall of Earth Science Department, Manipur University. Dean of Chemistry Department, MU Professor Dhaneshwar Akhil Bhartiya Vidarti Parishat, Manipur President Indramani and social worker Nila Kumar, among others, attended the event. Student experience in interstate living, SEIL, under the ages of Akhil Bhartiya Vidarti Parishat, is touring the country with an aim to foster oneness in the country. Nehru Yuva Kendra Imphal West Foundation for Living, Kiamgai and Standard Robert High Secondary School, Kanchipur jointly cleaned the memorial of Maharaja Gambir Singh at Kanchipur and its surroundings today. Sedo Singjamai Sapam Laika appreciated BJP active member Ngangbam Robert for cleaning and leveling the Sedo ground where annual Yaksham Sports is held. Sedo said after request by members of Social Environment Development Organization, Ngangbam Robert sent bulldozer and JCB which were used to clean the surrounding areas and level the Sedo ground. Manipur State Kala Academy is organizing a regional painters camp in collaboration with Lalit Kala Academy Regional Center, Kolkata at Mini Conference Hall of Directorate of Art and Culture, Palace Compound from January 29 to February 3. Now, news from the world of sports. The torch of the 12 South Asian Games to be held from February 5 to 12 in Guwahati and Shillong from the 5th of next month arrive at Imphal today. Department of Youth Affairs and Sports Government of Manipur organized a torch relay in Imphal. The torch relay started from Uttra Sangland Kangla and passed through North AOC GM Hall, Raj Bhavan and concluded at Uttra Sangland. PhD Minister I. Hemuchandra Singh, who is also the President of Manipur Olympic Association, Commerce and Industries Minister Govindas Konthaujam and Social Welfare Minister A.K. Mirabai Devi, among others, took part in the relay. This is a Kangla Imphal, a historical place related to the Imphal. So I'm uh, very privileged and honored to organize this torch relay here. And after completing this relay, we moved to Gangtok and then after completing Gangtok we move by road to uh, Kohima and then Itanagar and then on 5th of February 2016 up to noon we reach to the Seru Sajai Stadium where the inauguration ceremony of South Asian Games uh, will be held. Shaheed Manoranjan Singh Memorial State Open Football Tournament kick off today at Kumalam Park Main Stadium. In a knockout match of the tournament played today, SKYC Sekmai beat Moirang FC 6-5 in a penalty shootout as both the teams netted one goal each in normal time. Deputy Chief Minister Guy Khangam, President Imphal West District Football Association, family of late Shahid Manoranjan Singh along with football lovers attended the opening function. Eleven teams are taking part in the tournament organized by Imphal West District Football Association and Group Center CRPF Imphal under the ages of All Manipur Football Association.
Second W Toby Devi Challenge Hockey Men's Open Tournament kick off at Kumar Lampak Hockey Stadium today. In the opening league match, League B E G Pune trashed S Y U C Uchekon 5-0. Sanjoy Tapo scored three goals. Sadiki Seik and Lovepreet scored one goal each for the winners. Lamlai MLA K S H Birend, M J President Wangkem Chasiamjai and Manipur Hockey President Olympian K S H Toiba were among those who attended the inauguration of the tournament. Eleven teams, including four from outside the state, are competing in the tournament. Two league matches will be played tomorrow. Henglep. MLA Manga Wi-Fi inaugurated the general conference of the Eastern Wi-Fi today at Kamuching Kul, Senapati district. A football tournament is also being held as part of the meet which will be held till the 5th of February. 24 teams are taking part in the tournament. Speaking at the function, MLA Manga Wi-Fi said, Wi-Fi community has been working for the welfare of the state and the newer generations of the community should work for the welfare of the state. Ekoisi unity oiba aydagi Manipur ke oina ekoi na sarukkano dorga asina maram oiraga ekoi Manipur pumna bagsi unity oihanba aydagi mar marak de ekoi vaipi chatum yaavanba sin ekoi ke pamadi area asida karamain dorga sana khona ba aydagi lairik ki ayda education ki maram da development ki maram da karamaina chaukhat ba yaaga de ke hai ba ki ba pom sidi su ekoi adum simina dum pangtho kene development ki madam maram da se ekoi ngasi phau sida oji yam thong emile oira ko sida kharadi phange Manipur Mini Archie team left Imphal today to participate in the 8th Mini National Archery Championship to be held in Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Four players each in boys and girls category will compete in Indian round, recurve and compound round. Gitanjali Lashram and T. Netrajit are leading the boys team as team coach and team manager respectively, while the girls team are led by L. Jogita and G.A. Manju as manager and coach respectively. The players were flag off at Kumala Park Indoor Stadium. Amik FCA and Editor FC entered the semi-finals of the second Amfimpa Invitational Football Tournament. Amik FC A beat AMC FC 4-1 while Editor FC trash Amik <coughs> FC B 6-0. Seven film-related football teams are taking part in the tournament organized by Amfimpa Football Club at Sogdongbung Ground, Kongba Kaithil. The semis will be played tomorrow. World number one and defending champion Serena Williams will meet Angeliki Kerber in the women's singles final of the Australian Open. Serena today stormed into the final of the first Grand Slam of the season, defeating fourth seed Agnieszka Radwanska of Poland in straight set 6 0 6 4. Serena is now just one step away to win her seventh Australian Open and 22nd Grand Slam title. In the other semi final this morning, Angeliki Kerber defeated Johanna Kontaf 7 5 6 2. In a men's singles world number one, Novak Djokovic beat third seed Roger Federer in the semi final 6 1, 6 2, 3 6, 6 3. Both players have met 44 times in the past and each have won equal number of matches. The second semi final is slated between world number two, Andy Murray and Milos Raonic. In mixed doubles quarter finals, Shania Mirza Ivan Dodik pair defeated Linda Pace Martina Hingis pair 7 6 6 3. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Gai Khangam says truth about Sanjit fake encounter will be known after the CBI prop is completed. Manipur High Court asks Chief Secretary to appear in court in connection with non-functioning of Manipur Human Rights Commission. Women vendors of Kwarimba Nupi Kaitel stay sit in demanding immediate arrangement for license holders. And the torch of the 12th South Asian Games arrives at Imphal, more than 1,000 people taking part in torch relay.